All right, guys, a lot of people have done videos about the Simpsons and how Simpsons have predicted a lot of things that have happened. Very few people have decoded specific episodes. So I really hope that this video here absolutely blows your mind. Simpsons Season 15, Episode 4, Decoded. Before I get into Season 15, Episode 4, I will give you some wild sinks about the Simpsons in connection with Pope Francis and the royal family, in particular Queen Elizabeth II. So the first ever episode of The Simpsons was aired on 12-17-89. says here, working class father Homer Simpson and his dysfunctional family deal with comical situations and the ups and downs of life in the town of Springfield. First episode date, the 17th of December, 1989. This was Pope Francis's 53rd birthday. Okay, Pope Francis was born 12-17-1936. The first episode of The Simpsons aired 12-17-1989. On Pope Francis's 53rd birthday. Pope Francis, which I've proven numerous times, is highly connected to Queen Elizabeth. And Queen Elizabeth was coronated in 1953. Interesting. Very interesting. Think about England, who lost the Euro 2020 final. They lost to Italy in the final. Obviously, the Vatican is in Italy where the Pope resides. And Italy won the Euros for the first time in 53 years. The opening goal of the Euros was scored after 53 minutes in the Italy-Turkey game. And when you combine the jersey numbers of the three England players that missed, Rashford number 11, Sancho number 17 and Saka number 25, you get 53. So the first episode was aired in 89 and Queen Elizabeth died on the 8th of September, a date that can be an 8-9. Pope Francis is the 266th Pope, and Elizabeth died a span of 266 days before his birthday and the 33-year anniversary of the show's first episode. Pope Francis's upcoming birthday, where he turns 86, 12-17-2022, is the 33 year anniversary of the Simpsons first episode being aired not 33 and that's interesting guys because for another 33 on 3-3 March the 3rd 2021 the series was announced to have renewed for season 33 on 3-3 and the first ever episode of the Simpsons was aired on 137 date numerology and 137 is the 33rd prime. You'll see it was also aired on 56 date numerology. Royal Family gets you 137 and 56. Okay, now I'm going to focus on The Simpsons Season 15, Episode 4, titled The Regina Monologues. It was aired November the 23rd, 2003. I was looking through this episode to find clues about the Queen passing away. Remember, I decoded her to die in 2020 at the age of 96 before the World Cup final, which is a day after Pope Francis' birthday. But whilst I was coding this, I realised that the episode cryptically foreshadowed Hurricane Ian. All right, here's a breakdown of the episode. Prime Minister at the time, Tony Blair, welcomes the Simpsons to England, where they run into author J.K. Rowling, who has a Baphomet tattoo, and actor Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. After making over 3000 from his own museum featuring a $1,000 bill, Bart takes the family to London on suggestion of Grandpa, where Homer is arrested for treason after crashing into the Queen and locked in the Tower of London. Similar in Family Guy, where Peter Griffin is involved in an incident with the Queen. Ian, guys, in Gematria equals 15. And Hurricane Ian was a Category 4 hurricane. And Ian McKellen was a special guest on the Season 15, Episode 4. It's very intriguing that Sir 
Ian McKellen, I told you anyone with Sir in front of the name is pretty much a Satan worshipper, played the role of Magneto in X-Men and Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. This Ian McKellen, guys, will practice black magic, just like Alistair Crowley. The numbers 15, and in particular 4, are very big with Queen Elizabeth. She oversaw 15 Prime Ministers, and had four children. Her jubilee lasted four days, and the UK is made up of four countries. So season 15, episode 4, was the 317th episode of The Simpsons. And 317 is the 66th prime, which is a big number. Okay, first of all, the book of Revelation is the 66th book in the Bible. But in Gematria, Corona equals 66. Corona is connected to Crown, which is connected to the Queen. And England won the FIFA World Cup in 1966, where the Queen... Handed number six, Bobby Moore, the World Cup trophy. The final had six goals in it. And the episode, guys, was aired November the 23rd, 2003, and Elizabeth died 19 years after. It was season 15, episode 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. It was first aired in the UK on January the 9th, 2004, 1 9. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip got their first vaccine, supposedly for COVID-19, on 1-9. Queen equals 19, and her funeral was on the 19th day of September. She died a span of two months and 16 days before the upcoming anniversary of the episode being aired. That 216. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Prince William, who was born on summer solstice, was born on the 21st of June. 216. 21 is the six prime number. Two months and 16 days is 77 days. Ex Prime Minister Tony Blair was in this episode, and Queen Elizabeth died the year that Boris Johnson, the 77th UK Prime Minister, stepped down on 7 7 on the 17 year anniversary of the London bombings, and 17 is the seventh prime. 17-7 is big with Prince Charles because his wife Camilla was born on 17-7. And Queen Elizabeth also knighted Sir Captain Tom Moore on 17-7. Captain Tom Moore and Bobby Moore captained England to the World Cup in 66 where the Queen gave him the trophy. Elizabeth died seven months and seven days before the upcoming 15-4 date. How interesting. 15 4 is big, guys. Supposedly when the Titanic sank as well. It's also the date of the Hillsborough disaster, which was in 1989 when the first episode of The Simpsons aired. So starting with the top left picture, I'll explain a little bit about each scene. You'll see here Gate 22, I'll explain that in detail. You'll see here they're on tour bus 15, I'll explain that. You'll see here how Sir Ian McKellen gets drenched with water and then struck by lightning. And I'll discuss a few other things here. It's wild. It's wild. Is The Simpsons entertaining? Yes. No doubt. But when you break it down for what it is, it basically foreshadows the future. And it could be connected to time travel, which you'll see in about five minutes. So the Simpsons arrive in England through gate 22. And 22 is a master builder number. So there's your gateway portal time travel clue to the year 2022. Remember this episode was aired in 2003. In the same scene, Homer arbitrarily mentions that where he grew up has now been turned into a gator farm. That's your first reference to Florida, which connects to Hurricane Ian. Buckingham Palace Hotel, I strongly believe they placed this scene here to signify Buckingham, Florida, which is the Fort Myers Lee Country area. So they've set the year with Gate 22 and set the scene. This episode is about Florida, not England. And Fort Myers was devastated by Hurricane Ian, guys. Immediately after the hotel, 
we see a red flashing sign that says we make keys like Florida Keys, Key Largo, etc. And I showed you how the tour bus that the Simpsons get on is number 15, which is significant. Obviously, Queen Elizabeth oversaw 15 prime ministers. But the Illuminati were founded on 1-5. Ian equals 15. As I mentioned, this was season 15, episode 4, and Ian was a Category 4 hurricane. Ritual sacrifice in Gematria gets you 154. And then there's a brief scene inside a gift shop. There's canes just below the hat rack. Hurricane reference, possibly. And it's funny how England's current captain is Harry Kane, which sounds a lot like Hurricane, and he likes to score a lot of hat tricks. And then we have the Ferris wheel, guys, as you can see here. Why is that significant? Well, this is the first imagery we get of a slow-moving hurricane. The Ferris wheel represents a slow-moving cyclone. Then there's a scene where Homer's getting angry at two men that were discussing placing bets on Bart and Lisa. Homer grabs his kids off the street and says to the men, you can't bet on my kids, this is America, pal, reminding us once again that this is about America, not England. This is the scene. This is the scene right here. It's wild. The next scene is huge. Sir Ian McKellen playing the cryptic role of Hurricane Ian. In a scene involving Ian, there's a phone booth to the left. That's another favourite archetype of time travel. And the Simpsons, of course, travel to England in this episode. Also, the hit TV show Doctor Who is set in the UK and that focuses on time travel. The Simpsons predicted Donald Trump to become President of the United States of America. He's heavily connected to time travel, if you research that. Now, check this out. The writer for this episode was John Joseph Schwarzfelder Jr. And his first book was called The Time Machine Did It. John Joseph Schwarzfelder Jr. wrote 59 episodes in total for The Simpsons and the Regina monologues was the final episode he ever wrote. The Simpsons equals 59. So does Pope Francis, so does Freemasonry. And the next part is wild, guys. The next part is wild. So The Simpsons movie, which revealed so much, was released in theatres worldwide on 27707. 277, as you can see here, is the 59th prime. The Queen died on 9-8-2022. 9 plus 8 plus 20 plus 22 equals 59. 59. Absolute insanity. Is time travel real? I would not be shocked in the slightest, and it would explain so much, wouldn't it? All the foreshadowing? It would make sense if somebody's actually travelled in time to the future. We've had a lot of movies about time travel, so many books. Back to the Future is probably the prime time example. There's so many examples in the mainstream media where they've basically revealed that time travel is legit. Watch the series Dark, where you can go back 33 years in time or go forward 33 years in time. 33 is a huge number, a huge number, which I've discussed many times. So in this episode, guys, Ian McKellen gets drenched by water. Okay? Gets drenched by water. Like a hurricane. And I've lived through a hurricane, so much rain when you get hit by a hurricane. And next, an anvil falls from the sky, landing on his boot. Florida, guys, is known as a boot-shaped state. Harry Kane, who's the current captain of England, won the 2018 World Cup Golden Boot Award. Italy is shaped like a boot, where the Vatican is, who just won the Euros. 
And then after this, after he gets drenched by water, he gets struck by lightning. Luke 10, 18 comes to mind when I think about lightning, guys. Because Luke 10, 18 says, he replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Remember before Pope Francis became the Pope, right before it on February the 11th, the basilica was struck by lightning twice. How interesting. So Ian McKellen, he gets struck by lightning seven times. You've got the 59 here. 59 is the 17th prime. 17 is the 7th prime. Seven is a huge number biblically. I'll do a video about that. So he gets struck by lightning seven times. Macbeth is intentionally said nine times total, possibly signifying the ninth month of the year. I've been doing so many videos about the number nine. So many videos. Go back and watch them, my recent videos. And then we have this traffic circle scene here. This traffic circle scene. What does that signify? Well, this is what I think. This is the imagery of a stalled hurricane. Marge mentions that Homer's driving really well on the left side of the road. Then he steers right into the traffic circle, where they go around and around hundreds of times. The sun starts going down, and finally Homer steers himself out of there. Like driving, steering, an obviously man-made and manipulated hurricane up the west left coast of Florida. Donald Trump is heavily connected to Florida as well. So Homer crashes into Buckingham Palace in the next scene, as you can see here. Crashes into Buckingham Palace which I believe is once again code for Buckingham, Florida. So to me, guys, these last few scenes depict a stalled, slow, moving hurricane crash landing and causing damage in Fort Myers or Buckingham, Florida. In the court scene, the Queen mentions that she was on her way to innocently buy some light bulbs. A clear reference to lights out, power outage. I keep telling you about the dark winter, which is going to come where electricity will go out all over the world. So on my website, I shared a snippet from an episode where the Simpsons predict the rapture, where Homer comes to terms with the fact that the end is near. And all the believers go with Jesus, and all those who don't believe in him are stuck in Springfield. And the Simpsons, guys, they've revealed so much. Have you seen Homer's hair here for the M for Mason? But they'll tell you it's M for Matt Groening. Now, we know what that is. It's for Mason, and if you turn it sideways, it's a three. When you type in the word Simpson, it gets you 33. Look at this guy here, number six on his microphone. It could be any number. It's an upside-down nine. So they reveal the truth, these people, or these demons, through animation, more often than not. I'll do more videos about the Simpsons decoding specific episodes if you have any episodes you want me to look into let me know but how mind-blowing is this guys that the simpsons first episode aired on pope francis's 53rd birthday who i say is connected to everything who i believe is the false prophet i truly do so this has just shown you guys how everything is so synced we can't just keep saying that the simpsons have creative writers and just laughing it off. There's something deep to this. Time travel would make sense. Oh, it's something supernatural, isn't it? All I show you is how everything is coded and connected. It truly is. I could do a decode on how Tony Blair's connected to Queen Elizabeth. I have about two pages of notes. Could do a video about that. Insane how Tony Blair's connected to Elizabeth. Tony Blair was born the year Elizabeth was coronated, which all connects to Corona, the crown. It's crazy. It really is. It's funny how Lisa Simpson's hair almost looks like a crown as well. Do you remember in one episode when Lisa Simpson was up against Donald Trump and basically she was playing the role of Hillary Clinton before Hillary Clinton was even a candidate? Go back and watch it. It's insanity. So there you have it. 
I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you share this work, especially if you're a Simpsons fan. It might explain a lot. And I'll keep working overtime, guys, to try and inspire you to do videos that are so mind-blowing that you may actually question your whole existence. And that's not a bad thing. It really isn't. All right, guys, much love. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon.